Hi guys, it's Diane here from UK Disney Vlog. Welcome back to the channel. Yay! Sorry. It's ADR day. It's advanced dining reservation day. It's a day 180. Did you all get that? Did you all know what day it is? It is ADR day and I am super excited. Can you tell? I have been waiting for this day for a long time, since we booked it. I have been researching since we booked it. Now if you've seen any of my previous vlogs, especially the ones about planning, you know how I love to do my research. I have been trawling through the internet, going through the websites and going through people's vlogs, and I've been looking at everything to do with any sort of restaurant that I want to go to on Walt Disney property. Yeah, it's a minefield. Now, if you've seen the vlogs of mine, you'll know I have got a super, super fussy family when it comes to food. Yeah, it's not easy. And I have to trawl through all the menus to see if there's something that any of us will eat. Or oh, I'll eat everything, see if it's anything that those guys will eat. I'll see if they will compromise or we can downgrade to an adult menu to a children's menu because Emily being 13 when we go is on an adult menu. So sometimes we can um, downgrade her to the children's menu, which she's quite happy with, and they often give her the bigger portion. So I have been doing lots of research, and it's today, it's today. We finally book today, and I am so excited. So excited. Now, for those of you that don't know what you want to eat in um, six months time, like my husband, David, he hates it. Absolutely hates it. He hates the thought of having to do all this planning, all the fast passes, all the planning and thinking, I don't know what I'm gonna eat on Saturday at 6 p.m. I just don't know. But for those of you like me, that want those amazing dining experiences that you feel that you have to get, that you have to go to, and for me, Be Our Guest, Ohana, and the California Grill, to name but a few, are some of the places that I really, really must go to. And if I have to book it six months in advance to do it, I will do it. And that's what we've done. So today I am going to book my reservations. So our 108 today window opens up today, which means from the first day of our holiday, plus 10 days into the holiday, we can make our dining reservations. And the last four days of the trip will come up on each subsequent day. So tomorrow I will book day 11 and then so on and so forth. But yeah, I can book 10 days today. And I'm gonna take you guys with us and show us, show you how easy and straightforward it is to make those dining reservations, modify them and cancel them. So there are two main ways you can um, make your dining reservations. It can be done on a desktop through the website, um, through the Walt Disney World website and your My Disney Experience account, or it can be done on your tablets or um, phones through the My Disney Experience app. So just watch how simple and easy it is. So the first method I'm going to show you is how to book through the a desktop or a laptop and the, uh, My Disney Experience on the web browser. So you need to be logged into the Walt Disney World website and your My Disney Experience account. There are a couple of ways to access your dining experience. You can either click through the My Disney Experience icon on towards the right and go down to Reserve Dining, or you can scroll down to the dining section on your plans and tickets. So I'm going to click here, make a reservation. Once the page loads, it will load up with um, quite a few different options for you. You can have, scroll through all the restaurants throughout the Walt Disney World property, or you can try and search and make a reservation. You can also filter the experience or the price range, your cuisine, whether guests have, how guests have rated it and whether dining plans are accepted. So for this purpose, we're gonna uh, go by date. So we're gonna scroll through and pick the date we want. And then I'm gonna choose the dining experience. So you can either choose it by time of breakfast, brunch, lunch, or dinner, or be more time specific. For the purposes of this, we're gonna go for a 5 p.m. sitting. We are a party of five and we're going to search some times. 
It will then present you with um, all the restaurants available for the time that you want to go and eat. So you've got the Diamond Horseshoe, Le Cellier, uh, Hollywood Brown Derby, Tiffins, and just to name but a few restaurants. So we're going to go to the 50s Primetime Cafe and we'll choose the 525. If you've chosen a specific time and they haven't got that time available, they will give you a couple of options um, closer to that, as, cl as close to that time as possible. So we are going to go with 525. Here it will show you a review of the time and the number of guests and the date. It will then ask you to manage the reservation and who is coming in the party with you. So it's going to be myself, Crazy Grandad, David, Emily and Harry. We also have other guests on there from previous trips that we've been with. And you then click the next option. The reservation with a credit card. The credit card will not be charged if you attend the reservation or if you cancel it 24 hours before. So we have already stored a credit card on using um, my Disney experience in my profile. So we did this um, a few days ago. And so our credit card is already stored and saved. We then click next. And it's just letting us know that the reservation contact is gonna to go to my email address, ask me about any special requests, and it asks me to agree to the terms and conditions. And then you reserve. Once the request is completed, you'll get a confirmation number and it'll once again review where you've booked, what time and how many guests are there. And you can then go and make further dining reservations following that. So if we take a scroll back up to the My Disney Experience and look at my plans, you will then be able to review the dining reservations that you've made. So there we have it. Our 50s prime time dining reservation is there and that the people that are in the traveling party that are coming with us. It's really simple and easy to change your reservation and get to cancel the reservation. If you wish to change the reservation, you can simply do it by changing the time or the date and searching for further options again. Also, canceling the reservation is just as simple. Just click on the cancel function of the reservation that you've made. Using the My Disney Experience app is a great way to make dining reservations. It's my preferred way. All you need is the app, which is available through the Apple and Android stores. So what you need to do is uh, log in to My Disney Experience. When you are signed into the My Disney Experience app, the first thing that greets you is the welcome page. So it starts off with park info and entry, and it has my dance my plans under my plans you've got the fast passes you've got dining reservations you've got the option to order food link dining and link hotel well today we're going to make some dining reservations so go into reserve dining so the first thing that greets you is a uh, party size so our party size is going to be for five people and then we need to make a reservation. So the calendar then pops up in front of you so that you choose the day in which you want to book your reservation. So we're going to book ours for July the 20th. You'll then be able to book your dining option via time or by occasion. So you can either book for a breakfast, brunch, lunch or dinner or make more specific time reservations. We are going to book a breakfast. So this is a list of the breakfast options available to us. So we've got Ohana at 8.35, we've got 900 Park Fair, Be Our Guest, and just to name but a few. So for the purposes of this, we are gonna go to Ohana's for breakfast, which I, I am so looking forward to. So we want to make an 8.35 reservation for Ohana. If you're not already signed into your My Disney Experience app, it'll ask you to sign in just to confirm that it's you. It 
will then ask you to review and confirm your reservation. So we're going to go on Saturday, July the 20th on 2019 for 8.35 reservation and we have got five guests with us. It asks for my, obviously my contact details. It then asks you to reserve the reservation with a credit card guarantee. Now the credit card will be charged if you do not make your reservation. Um, however, if you, make, if you make your reservation on time, the credit card won't be charged or if you need to cancel it, if you cancel it 24 hours before, then again, the credit card won't be charged. So we, obviously we have already got a credit card stored with us, which we did um, earlier on on our check-in video. I have read and agreed to the terms and conditions already because I've used this app on a numerous occasions. So I'm just acknowledging that. And then I need to book now. And there we have it. I have now have a reservation for a party of five for Ohana's. So to update the party at the minute, it looks like I'm dining alone, but I can update my party. Now updating your party allows you to link in other people that already have my Disney experience accounts and then allows them to see the reservation as well. So here's a list of people that I am already linked with. There's a few people that we're traveling with and some people that we've traveled with previously. So on this reservation, we're gonna do Daddy, Crazy Granddad, Emily and Harry. There we go. So we just save our party. And there we have it. There's our traveling party and our dining party. Now also on this reservation, you can modify it and cancel it which is an absolutely brilliant option. And if you go back to your first screen and go back to my plans, you will see our dining reservation at Ohana's. And you can go back in at any time and modify that reservation and cancel it like I said previously. And these two steps are just as simple as booking the reservation themselves. So if you click on it, you can see it there, you've got your reservation and you can modify it. You can modify the date and the time and the party size. So if we wanted to modify it to a 10 o'clock time, it'll check availability for us. And there isn't an availability for 10 o'clock, but there is one for five to 10 and quarter past 10. So that would be easy to change that reservation time. And also if we wanted to cancel a reservation, which is also really, really simple, we can use the cancel function there. There, cancel this reservation. It's like, no, go back. I don't want to do it. Oh yes, please cancel it. So I'm actually, I'm gonna cancel this reservation just for the purposes of this. So there you go. It has been taken off the app and it's no longer a reservation for us. And it is that simple and that straightforward and easy to use. So you can see, it's dead easy. It's dead simple to get those dining reservations that you really, really want. Now, my personal favorite is the app. I just find it so much more user-friendly and so much easier to do, as long as the app works. Now, I love the app, but occasionally it does have flaws and it sometimes doesn't work, but I just find it so much more simple and straightforward when you're making those dining reservations, and it just seems to work and flow much, much quicker. So we did it. We've booked, we've booked our first 10 days. I couldn't book everything I wanted in the, on the days that I wanted by the massive Excel spreadsheet that I had got going on. But I was a little bit flexible, just changed a few things around, changed a few times. It doesn't really matter as long as I get to go there. So I have booked Ohana, we're gonna meet Stitch for the very first time. We have booked Le Cellier, we have booked where else have we booked? Be Our Guest. We booked Tusker House. Just to name but a few. I think closer to the time, I might possibly do another vlog about dining. I'm not sure. But these are the ones we have booked and I am very excited. And I know the kids are, especially about meeting Stitch because we've never met him before. And I'm really excited. And I can't wait to go. I'm not sure how many times I've said excited in this video. I think maybe we might need to go back and play one of those 
drinking games, every time Diane says 180 days or excited, <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just overwhelming. For those of you that have been to Disney before or never been, planning is the best part about it. Apart from the trip itself, the 12 months or eight months in advance of however you, how long you book, planning is amazing and I find it so much fun. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed watching this vlog and I hope you found it really helpful. I have enjoyed doing this vlog today. It's, it's amazing and I think the fast pass one, God help you. God help you for the fast pass one because it's, I don't know if I get any more excited than I am now apart from traveling. So yeah, I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you found it useful. Don't forget to click that like button and subscribe to our channel if you're new to us. And thanks for watching um, and catch you again later. Bye.